Julius here. In this video I'm going to go through the features in MidiGrid using MidiFighter Twister by DJ Tech Tools. If you wish to follow along, you can go to midigrid.com and select a product, go down here and you'll find a graphic which shows all of the features included and what I'm about to go through. So main thing to point out, this whole system is based on different menus and you can reach those menus using these side buttons. So there's power window, color adjustments, HSL qualifiers and color wheels. And the bottom one is for 10 times speed or function menu, depending how you use it. Another thing to point out that these buttons over here, these perform the same function independent of which menu you are on. So let's say I want to create new node. I want to create new node before the current one. Undo. I can disable or enable all of the nodes I have selected. Then this bypass create. I can navigate between these nodes, I can create a parallel window, and then there's playback. Okay, let's go to a power window. With these five buttons, we can create linear window, circular window, polygon window, curve window, and finally gradient window. And the rest of the buttons are toggling window outline and highlight. So let's say I want to create a circular window. I can now adjust the size, aspect, panning and tilting, rotate and opacity. I'll create a linear window and here I have soft 1, soft 2, soft 3 and soft 4. Then if I create a curve window, here I have inside blur and outside blur. With the rest of the knobs I can track forward, I can track backwards and then the highlight button works as stop tracking too. These two are passive mouse controls which means for example if I want to move this point in curves I can use now this for horizontal mouse movement and the second one for vertical mouse movement. And finally, the last one in this menu is in key menu, we have key output, which is basically opacity for this node. Next up is qualifier. This one is one of my favorites to use because the layout is so close to what Resolve is showing us. So we have hue center, we have hue width, hue soft, and hue symmetry. Then next row starts off with low soft. Then there's low, high, and saturation high soft. Next one is luminance low soft, luminance low, luminance high, and luminance high soft. This is a good time to show the 10 times speed feature because in qualifiers it's painstakingly slow to move these adjustments. So you can simply hold down the button here and then the adjustment is made much faster and this works in every feature. Okay and finally the last row is denoise, clean black, clean white and blur radius. The buttons are for enabling or disabling hue, saturation and luminance. Then there's highlight and reset hue, reset saturation and reset luminance. Moving forward to color adjustments, the first row is soft clip and here we find low soft, then there's low, high and high soft. Next row we have color adjustments themselves, first off we have contrast, we have pivot, saturation and hue. Next row starts off with temperature, tint mid-tone detail and color boost and the last row is shadows, highlights and logarithmic low range and high range. The buttons on this menu are reset color adjustments, enhance viewer, enable and disable image wipe, invert wipe, 
then there's grab steel and we can toggle between different steels and the last main menu is color wheels here we have luminance for gain for gamma lift and offset and in these three columns there's actually a hidden feature they represent red green and blue but what they actually do is this moves the selection in vertical sense and this one horizontally so what we can with this do we can move these both at the same time so now what we have here is basically the same thing as a single tracking ball so with midi grade now in color wheels we can move the color selection in this two-dimensional space freely which is pretty exciting and this works in each of these color wheels this feature also works in logarithmic so with this button we can switch to log and now I can do these adjustments in log mode pretty exciting stuff the rest of six buttons here are for enhanced viewer we can again toggle the wipe and then there's reset gain or highlight in log reset gamma, reset lift and reset offset and finally about the function menu this works by toggling one of these side buttons and then pressing one of these buttons here so let's say for example I want to append a note I want to delete note I want to reset note I want to create a layer node, I want to toggle loop, play backwards, I want to navigate between different clips, this one is redo, and finally these six are for keyframe and frame adjustments, so I can go frames forward and backwards, I can create a keyframe, go forward, create a keyframe, Go forward, create a keyframe. I can navigate between these keyframes and I can delete them. Alright, this was MIDI Great with MIDI Fighter Twister. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.